What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC Fight Night Brisbane Australia prediction video happening this Saturday. Looks like it's going to be a good event. First up, don't sleep on this first fight. I'm choosing Sohi Ham to beat Beck Rawlings, but it's going to be a toss up. This is going to be a messy fight, and I'm banking on Sohi to keep her head down, fight up the middle. She's good with course, close quarters and the dirty boxing, but again, I don't know. Choosing James Tahuna to beat Steve Boss, going to be a good fight. Choosing uh, Antonio Carlos Jr. to beat Daniel Kelly. I think that's going to be really competitive for the first two rounds, and then I think that our Antonio might get a go away with it or run away with it but we'll see I think it's going to be a good fight choosing Jake Matthews to beat Johnny Case now co-main event <laughs> my hair getting used to the we're trying uh, new stuff out here all right uh, co-main event we got Neil Magny versus uh, Hector Lombard Hector hasn't fought in about two years I believe he was injured and he had a PED infraction someone correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure both happened there uh, it's been gone for two years and I definitely think that there will be some ring rust here he's not known for his cardio anyway and I think he's gonna have poor cardio here I think Neil's cardio who's which is great is going to be his biggest weapon against Hector Lombard actually um, if he can get through the first round I'm very confident that he'll win the second and the third round he's got the skills to do it. he's a purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu nil that is although he uses it very very well he applies it very very well I believe he'll be able to keep Hector at bay keep the damage at a minimum get through that first round I think he can win this fight um, so I'm choosing Neil Magny um, main event and we're seeing Mark Hunt go up against Frank Mir I'm, I'm still going back and forth. Mark Hunt, of course, with the kickboxing. I believe he's got multiple kickboxing titles. He's got solid wrestling ground game, too. He's just not really known for it because he's got that walk away, one punch, knockout that he loves to do and still has that power. I believe he's 41 years old. Frank Mir, I believe, is 36 years old. Correct me if I'm wrong. Black Bell, of course, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, one of the best, has developed the striking game. He also has knockout power. All the heavyweights have knockout power. I think they're both coming off a loss. Ah. <sighs> Seemed like Mark was getting his second win, but he's got a couple of losses in a row. One was in Mexico, short notice. Uh, Frank Mir coming off the loss to Andre Olavsky. Who's going to be in the better shape? Is age going to play a factor for both men? I'm not quite sure. Again, uh, Mark is older. I believe he's 41 years old. Ah, they are in Australia. He's basically a hometown boy there because he's from New Zealand, but he's basically a hometown boy. Treated as such, it's a hometown crowd for him. Uh, I don't know who's going to win. Quite frankly, we've seen Mark Hunt go through a five-round wars before. The same thing we've seen with Frank Mir. They both got great chins. They're both smart. They're not going to be submitted. I'm not, kind of, I'm not sure they're going to make a mistake. I think it's more maybe who takes the risk in this one, especially for Frank Mir, seeing as how he's going to be in Mark Hunt's hometown, really, with the home uh, crowd on his side. Maybe take a risk there for Frank Mir. They're both going to have to be smart because they're both veterans. I, Frank Mir is a uh, former UFC champion. I, Mark Hunt can knock him out. Frank Mir can submit him. He's got KO power as well, but I don't think he can mark. Mark Hunt is extremely hard to knock out, but Mark can definitely knock him out. He's also, again, good on the ground, too smart. I don't know. I'm going back and forth. I'm going to choose Mark Hunt. I'm going to choose Mark Hunt. I think I'm going with the hometown crowd, maybe. That'll give him a boost. He's coming off more loss. Maybe this is his last go. Who knows? Heavyweight division is shallow, but I'm going to go with Mark Hunt and keep stop talking before I change my mind. So let me know your picks. Let me know any injury updates. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I will have 15-second uh, recaps and prediction videos. Subscribe, like, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.